What is vibing? This is Vish. And today, I'll be responding to Sudhu's video on what is an aura. Also, if you hit that subscribe button, I'll be truly grateful. I'm a meditation coach. I've guided hundreds of people on their meditation journeys. If you have any questions about it or want a one-on-one -on -one session with me, message me on Instagram, at VishVibes. Sudhu is a yogi, mystic, and visionary who is truly enlightening the world. I even recently got initiated into Shambhavi Mahamudra by Sadhguru himself. Check out the video I made which will be on my channel. I do want to give this a special shout out to Pranav Vedura, who had requested for this video. And with that, let us get straight into it. Namaskaram Sadhguruji. Could you please explain me what is Aura? What is? Aura. A-U-R-A, Aura. Aura. Every substance on the planet has a certain field of energy around it or what you see as substance on the planet is actually energy. It's a scientific fact mm -hmm. that the whole existence is energy. One part of the energy has manifested itself into a certain level of reverberation which makes it a physical form. Mm. Mm -hmm. Another part of the energy does not manifest itself into a physical form, but it still has a form. So that form which is not yet physical or refuses to become physical, but still maintains a form, that's an aura. Okay. Interesting. Or that's being called an aura. Auras are of many kinds. One can carry from a pitch black aura to a pure white aura. Between these two, there are a million shades. Essentially, the physical, mental, emotional, and the energy status of who you are right now in a certain way is represented by your aura hmm. or it's visible. I do want to quickly just say and note how it is interesting and very cool to see how the way Sadhguru approaches life and this is really just based off of the yogic principles is not really at the mental and physical levels. I mean, way back in the day, it was all physical oriented. Now it's becoming a bit more mental oriented with regards to including fields like psychology. However, spirituality, from what I'm learning from him, takes it up a notch. It's not just about the mental, psychological, but it's about the emotional, about the energy, which all supersede everything below it. And so as I've learned from Sadhguru, when learning to do these yogic practices, when you get the energy fixed, Everything below it naturally gets fixed as well. So I just find that very cool. Let's continue. Through the aura. Too many fancy things have been told about it by the… particularly by the New Age community today. A lot of it is fiction. But there is some substance to it. Hmm, just like the aura itself. I don't think uh, you should concern yourself about such things. Don't try to see people's aura. Aura is the periphery of the person. I would like you to look a little more at the core of the being mm -hmm. rather than looking at the surface. Surface is for the doctors. because uh, they want to fix some physical part that may be going wrong with somebody. Surface should not be the interest of a spiritual seeker. This is more surface than the skin. 
Hmm. What you call as aura is even more superficial than the skin because it's even further out. So it may have certain… if one has the necessary insight, may have certain… give you certain access to the nature of the person, but you're only looking at the psychological, emotional and physical structure of the human being. Mm. It is best people on the spiritual path ignore the aura, yours and everybody's. Interesting. And focus on the core. If you're focused on the core, you will have a wonderful aura. If you're focused on the surface, you will have a miserable aura. So don't keep looking at other people's aura on your own. It's time you looked at the core of this one and that one. <laughs> if you look at the core of this one, then naturally you'll see the core of everything because in core, this and that doesn't exist. In core, only this exists. On the surface, this and that exists. So, You know, people said, beauty is skin deep. Yes, certain type of beauty is skin deep. You wouldn't like somebody with their skin peeled off. <laughs> if you saw somebody's skin peeled off, you wouldn't think they are beautiful even if they're the same people. That way, yes. But aura is not even skin deep it's not worth spending time on it. If you become conscious of the core, the surface may be just visible to you, but you trying to see and read people's auras is a stupid thing to do. <laughs> You'll waste your life trying to do such things. If you're conscious, if your perception is enhanced, you may see things. It's good to see things which are there, if you start seeing things which are not there. <laughs> right. That's… Uh, you have to… you are graduating from ashram to asylum. If lot of you go in that direction, we can transform the ashram into an asylum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's very important. <laughs> we want to keep this as an ashram. You want to make it into an asylum? Huh? No, we want to keep this as an ashram. So please, if you want to keep this as an ashram, you must be focused on the core, not on the surface. Too much surface means uh, we'll make the place into an asylum. All kinds of nutcases who believe they are spiritual, there are too many like that on the planet. They are the biggest deterrent for other people to seek any spirituality. Because of too many nutcases like this, right-thinking people who are little more sensible don't want to have anything to do with spirituality. So, please don't make this into an asylum. If you need to go, we will promote you, but <laughs> don't turn the place into an asylum. <laughs> Before we start with the reaction or response, let's first take a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Thank you so much Pranav for this video request. I very much enjoyed everything that Sadhguru had to say about the aura. It is very interesting to see how I feel like a lot of the Western adoption of a spirituality has unfortunately focused on the not so conscious parts of the roots. It has gotten lost in translation and lost in adoption. 
One of these instances does include the aura, as Sadhu describes. If you look at most of the people in India, at least what I've heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, most people don't talk about aura. But then in the whole Western spiritual route and spiritual world, aura is a big thing. And people always talk about, oh, I can sense this aura, I can sense that aura. I truly appreciate Sadhguru for shedding light as to how little this aura thing even means. You see, the spiritual world has a lot of different dimensions in it. However, the utmost goal, as Sadhguru describes, should be to explore the core. Because when you explore the core, then everything else naturally will be understood and can be experienced. But staying at the surface will not yield much awareness and much growth. As he says, the aura is even above the skin, which literally goes to show how little it means in the hierarchy of the human being, which starts with the body, mind, emotions, and then energy. And so aura, according to Sadhguru, is even below the body. As I mentioned earlier, let's just say you do have a physical problem. You can solve it by tapping into the physical, but by going up a notch, let's say in the mental spectrum or area, you can not only fix the mental and truly get that organized to the point where eventually the physical will also get fixed, but why not just go beyond that and aim for the energy or the topmost level of this human being? By focusing on the energy, which is the deeper core of the being, everything else will naturally get fixed, will get naturally aligned, and naturally you will just become aware. And so I'm really grateful that Sadhu was able to shed light on this relatively unconscious seeking. Seeking is great, but at the same time, if you're seeking in circles or you're seeking at the surface, there's nothing wrong with calling it out. And I will have to give a huge shout out to Sadhguru who has not only this life of experience, but as I've heard, lifetimes of experience. And that is why I very much am in line with most of what Sadhguru says, if not everything. I do just have to hold off to being things that I must experience on my own, which again, is aligned to back to what he says. But at the end of the day, everything he speaks is his logic. He has truly tapped into the energy, which I can feel not only here. I even got to meet Sadhguru at the Sadhguru Darshan in Tennessee, and truly his being was of high energy. And I'm truly grateful, again, for not only his being and presence, but for the work that he's doing to this material world. We must all learn from that and focus on the things that really matter. Even helping someone out with food and water, volunteering, will serve you so much more than just looking for people's auras. So that is what I've truly learned to appreciate from Sadhguru. Thank you so much for watching this reaction and response to Sadhguru's video on what is an aura. If you have any other video requests, please comment that down below. Make it a great day, take a joyful and stay conscious.